Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. These are for entertainment purposes only so just take what you need and leave the rest and if you do enjoy this reading guys by all means feel free to leave behind a like share and subscribe here today if you haven't already done so. For those of you who continue to show up and support my channel, I do want to thank you and I appreciate every, each and every single one of you. So thank you uh, for your continued support. Um, okay, so Aqua, these six cards will form the main part of the read. Uh, but before we do unpack those together, we're going to draw an, an, a, Rayma, a Romance Angels Oracle card. Sorry, I can't, I can't speak properly today. Um, and this will be the overall energy coming through regarding your romantic life, <laughs> your romantic situation, uh, your romantic relationship in the upcoming days and weeks. So we're reading for whoever is on your mind. So whoever you're coming into this read thinking of is who we're reading for. Okay, Aqua. And if you require a personal reading, something a little more suited to you and your current situation, then by all means, feel free to reach out. All the details will be in the show more section below this video. Okay, so you've got the deception card coming through. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, who's being dishonest, Aqua? Is it you? Or is it the person that you're dealing with? There's three people in this card. So there clearly could be uh, affairs taking place here. Someone could be cheating on somebody else. Uh, there may be a third person involved. Um, and if that isn't the case, it's just that you might not really know who this person even is that you're dealing with in love, okay? You may be just coming into the week questioning, do I even really know who this person is, okay? Um, because I feel... I feel they haven't been honest, and I feel you haven't been honest. Hmm... And I feel like for one of you, I'm just looking at this card, guys, and I'm looking for one of you, you're ready to take off that mask. I feel like if you've been, if you haven't been 100% honest, I feel like that mask is coming off. Okay. And, uh, you know, to start off the reading, we've got the Ten of Wands here. So I feel, Aqua, that you may feel burdened by this deception. Okay? You may not have been honest about something here and it may be bothering you. It may be really getting on top of you. And I feel like in the upcoming week you may want to come out into the open about whatever this is okay your your guilty conscience is coming through or someone's guilty conscience is coming through and just wants to get it over and done with like just gotta let this person know it may even be a thought that you have okay you may have been thinking about something um and it's really been weighing you down because you haven't shared your thoughts with this person. And because you haven't shared them, you may feel like you're deceiving them or it's like you're keeping something from them. But it's really bothering you. It's Someone is really being weighed down and burdened by this energy. Now, the signs of the person that you could be dealing with here, you've got the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. With the King of Swords, you could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel, Aqua, that you're taking something personally. You're taking, some, you're taking things upon yourself here. Okay, you may feel responsible for something here. 
okay and you might be going in and above to prove yourself to this person because you're coming out in the reverse this is your energy as well aqua you're coming out in the reverse so you're coming through not feeling your best in the upcoming week feeling confused lacking mental clarity You may be feeling like you're lacking perspective. You may even feel irrational, like you're you're behaving irrationally. Okay, there's I'm just getting irrational. Are you being irrational? We've got the Four of Cups here and I feel like this person that you're dealing with in love, okay, I feel like they're ignoring you. It, it feels like they're ignoring you, okay. They're turning their, they're turning a blind eye. Even if you were to approach this person and get honest with them, I feel like they won't hear you. Okay, they won't hear you. I mean, you can come forward and tell this person what you want, but it's like they will just like, meh, I'm not interested. Okay, because all of a sudden this person is acting disinterested and bored in this connection and you might be taking the blame or the responsibility for that you might be saying to yourself oh i'm the reason why they're bored okay um but again this is deception this is a lie that you would be telling yourself and the reason why you're telling yourself this lie is because you want to maintain what you have with this person. Six of Cups in the upright. This is a beautiful energy, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like in the upcoming week... You know, you shared beautiful memories with this person at one point. But in the upcoming week, I feel like you're creating memories that are not so pleasant. Hmm. That's not so joyous. I just, I feel like in the upcoming week, it doesn't feel pleasant. It doesn't feel nice. You feel really um, weighed down by something here. And, and, and like you can try and try and try, but this person isn't hearing you. You're being dismissed, Aqua. Okay, you're being dismissed. The person that you're dealing with here, the King of Pentacles, I feel like they're quite successful um, or they're tied up to the material world. Okay, this person is more focused on their success. This person is more driven by their status and how they appear to the world right now. Okay, this person is more focused on climbing the ladder This person that you're dealing with here with the King of Pentacles, he's all about um, investment, property. He could be a salesman. He could be a property developer, an investor. Um, he could be someone that buys assets or invests in shares. This is real estate. This is finance. <laughs> Right? 
And I just feel like you could be disconnected from this person at this time. Disconnected because they're bored. And all of a sudden, they're coming through giving you breadcrumbs. So I feel, Aqua, that you're making some kind of a decision in the upcoming week. I feel that if this person is coming through and giving you just little morsels of love, attention, and affection. I feel like you're going to make some kind of a decision to no longer put up with this. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, you've done all you can. Okay, you've really given it your best shot. You've attempted, you've tried. And there's not much more you can do now. But draw a line in the sand. And I think that's what you will do. I really do. I feel like you'll draw a line in the sand. Because I feel like you've deceived yourself. You've told yourself lies for quite some time now. You've told yourself it's going to be okay, like it's only for a short period of time. We're going through a rough patch right now. It's going to get better. You've told yourself lies. You've told yourself, oh, this person, I, I can't get in the way of their work. They're really focused on their work right now. They can't give me their time and attention because they're trying to build their business. They're trying to build, you know, their portfolio, whatever it is. It's lies. It's lies that you've been telling yourself to keep it going. To keep this relationship going. Because you've only been getting little bits from this person. Okay, you've only been getting little bits from this person. So, and I also feel like for some of you, there's a little message coming through here. This person may have at the start told you that they wanted children, but I feel like with the Six of Cups in reverse, they don't want children. Okay, they've changed their mind. It's coming through as they, they don't want children. Um, it could be that children is affecting this connection in some way as well. Let's see what else is coming through regarding this person that you're dealing with. Because I really feel this person is more focused on their career and on their status right now than they are on the connection and the relationship. I feel like this person is really throwing themselves into their work. Um, they could be distracting themselves with work projects and work commitments but it's because they're telling themselves lies as well so let's just draw one more card here okay this one wanted to come through golden egg okay yeah this person is focused on the prize and the prize is really building up their business really building up their portfolio here Okay, they're trying to build some kind of uh, nest egg or security for themselves, financially speaking. Okay, um, this is nest egg, guys. This golden egg, this is success. This person is hungry for success in their field of interest. Okay, this is what they're... This is what they're hungry for. Um, this is what they're birthing. This is what they're nurturing. This is their baby right now. They don't want children. Their career. They, this person is married to their business. Okay. They're married to their career. They're married to their business. But they could also be telling you that they're doing this for your future. 
okay they could be telling you oh please look let just let me do this i'm doing this for our future um but i feel like it's lies i feel like it's just what they're telling you okay so there we have it aqua i hope you enjoyed this reading until next time guys take care and i'll speak to you soon